Hello you guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Drew if you're new here and let's get right into today's video. Okay friends, today I have no makeup on. I have a messy pony because yesterday we got really cute for the vlog, but today it ain't it, sis, okay? So today I was supposed to vlog my car tour, but I think I'm gonna save that for Sunday because I'm gonna get one of my good friend's fiancés to clean my car for me and he can only do it on Sunday and I want him to do it because I'd rather have my friend to do it than like someone else, you know? So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do the car tour, I think Sunday or if not Monday. Um, but you guys told me that there is a dirt cheat in Pasadena, Texas, which is really close to me. And so I'm gonna go to that location. Um, and y'all might be saying, why are you giving out the location? Because sister, these crazy people out there, if they're gonna find me and they wanna know where I'm at, they're gonna find me either way because these people are so crazy. So if you wanna be a creepazoid and find people that you follow on the internet, go for it because you're gonna find me anyway. So I'm gonna go to the Dirt Cheap in Pasadena because I do live in the Houston area and that is pretty close to me, about 40 to 45 minutes away from me. Um, so yeah, that is where we're gonna go. And I just made me some protein coffee. If you did not know, I just tried this one yesterday in yesterday's daily vlog. It is the Salted Caramel Lean Body Shake. I need to get more of these because they are so good. It literally kept me full from 10 something to like 2.45 p.m. I like loved this. So I'm gonna get more of those and I only had half. So let's give it a try today. So good. It doesn't even have like a yucky protein flavor or anything. So we're gonna go to Dirt Cheap because Dirt Cheap is kind of like a liquidation store, but it's mainly Target things. And you know, I love me some Target. So that's what we're gonna go do. I'm gonna tour it around. I'll probably do a voiceover, like show you guys what it looks like and do a little voiceover for y'all. Um, but yeah, I, did y'all see my eye twitching? That was crazy. I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and go to stinking Dirt Cheap. Little hot mess, OOTD. We have our coffee, a big old t-shirt, a belt bag, some leggings, some Crocs, and a hot mess behind us. I'm turning my blinker off because that's kind of annoying. Um, but I'm about to pull into the Dirt Cheap. I'm so excited. So I am not really like trying to buy anything unless like I absolutely cannot live without it. Because if it's Target brand and it's cute, you know your girl's gonna buy it. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. There she is. Okay, y'all, so here is what I found. I realized that everything was 40% off the tag. As you can tell, it is a lot of the Target brand. There's this, the 62 brand, the Bright Whatever Room brand, the Threshold brand. That is all from Target. Um, not gonna lie, I don't think I'm a dirt cheap girly. I prefer to be a Treasures for Less girly or a Sheffield and Sheffield girly, which I'm sure I'm gonna rant about that in just a few minutes. Um, but I wanted to go around and show you everything that was there. I feel like a lot of the things were just kind of stacked up and then they were mainly like toys, which is what I saw online was a bunch of people were saying that it's mainly clothes and toys at dirt cheap. So that's probably why I prefer Treasures for Less. I did see some flooring and some tile, which I thought was really cool and different. Different. Um, I might get Gabe to come back with me to look at this stuff because I really liked it and it'd be cool stuff for some home renovations. That was really nice and um, just got to buy the grout or whatever. Um, but yeah, in all, it was really cool. Like, here's some Room Essential brand things. I did feel like it was a little bit more expensive. Like, I feel like the sale price was a little bit more expensive than the Treasures for Less and Sheffield and Sheffield. Let me know if you guys agree down below. Um, I'm not really too familiar with the Dirt Cheap. I'm more familiar with Treasures for Less and Sheffield and Sheffield just because my in-laws shop at those a lot and they talk a lot about them. I prefer not to have to dig through the bins. But that's just my personal preference. Um, everybody has their own personal preferences and mine is definitely not this. Um, but yeah, it was a really cool experience. I probably would go back with a friend so that we can dig together. It wasn't as fun to dig in the boxes by myself, but in all, it was pretty cool. to Marshalls but I'm gonna do a quick little haul for you guys from Dirt Cheap. First of all I don't think I'm a Dirt Cheap fan. I think Treasures for Less and Sheffield and Sheffield are my favorite. I feel like they're very much more clean and very much more better best on their prices. They had four chairs from Target that were on sale for $70 but they had them for $100 a piece and I was like $100 for the set or $100 a piece and she said $100 a piece and I was like not one to really like question but I was like Target had them on sale for, for 70 and you have them on sale for 100 Like, make that make sense. Whatever. Didn't get them. But I did go ahead and get me this for our guest bedroom. It's the Cala Luna 
full slash queen quilt for our guest bedroom. I thought that'd be really nice. And then also got us a set of threshold um, white sheets because you can never have enough sheets, especially with a king size bed and three dogs and how anal I am about my sheets. I literally change them out probably every other day. So it's always good to have backup sheets. I'm right now in the parking lot to go to Marshall's because I feel like dirt cheap was kind of a bust. I feel like I kind of went there and I knew I wasn't going to like it. It just to me was kind of like everything was in boxes in just a mess like it wasn't a pile of one thing it was a pile of multiple different things in boxes so it's almost like you had to unbox it to see what was inside of it which i'm not a fan of I've, i just kind of like treasures for less how it was like open one thing was open you saw what it was and then you'd grab the box that you wanted i feel like this dirt cheap was very dirty and like just all over the place and i'm just not into that um so yeah, dirt cheap, not a fan, but I'm a fan of Treasures for Less and um, Shuffles. And there was like a million things that I could have lived without and didn't get them. But y'all know I can't go in there without getting my dogs anything. And I was planning on getting absolutely nothing. Just going to show you guys around. But this Marshalls was pretty bare. Um, but these are Moosey's favorite treats. They're cow hooves. And look at that, y'all. $10 on sale, so I had to get this for my Moosey boy. And then I saw these, which I've never seen these before. And I liked how long they were. They're Chew Safe Collagen Based Premium Dog Chews, long lasting, 10 inch large rolls. And these were $7.99 a piece, so I got two packs of these because it's so awkward when there's only two in there and I have three dogs. So I got two packs of those. And then I got the little hose for Moosey. And then I saw this little jacket. I thought it was so cute. So I went ahead and got this as well. It was, how much was this? This was $24.99. I got it in a size large. It's just a cute little, like, oversized corduroy little jacket and now i'm gonna be on the way home i'm gonna go ahead and put the roast in the oven that i was supposed to make yesterday and then um yeah thank, thank you guys, you guys so, much. so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed i know it was a quick one but it was kind of fun to go shopping with you guys today i wonder what we're getting to tomorrow i'll see you guys tomorrow bye friends